Hi guys, this is part 16 of my super huge series on linking uh, your existing digital planners, notebooks, etc. to Apple Calendar and more using shortcuts and automation. And that's what we're talking about today. Today I'm going to show you how to send a, uh, have an automated email sent to you monthly, weekly, daily, however you want of your open reminders. So that way you, um, you know, watch my overview video. I go into that. I go into everything about the whys. Now I just want to talk to you and get it into your planner. So, um, or get it onto your device. Auto, uh, automation requires two things. It requires one, you need the shortcut. So, um, you set up an automation to say, I want this to happen. I want you to run this shortcut at this time of day during for this frequency. Okay, so we're going to set up this first part here right now. Um, you are going to want to go to my website. The links in the description. You are going to want to, um, that's not my website. Where's my website? There it is. Um, you're going to want to find this part on creating uh, automation for reminders. You're going to want to read the information. Step two is we're watching this video. Step three is you can create the shortcut yourself. I've put up screenshots to help you follow along. Um, or you can get the shortcut and have it downloaded to your iPad into shortcuts using the link that I provide. But before you do that, if that's what you're going to choose to do, you're going to want to go to shortcuts and allow private sharing. And that just allows you to um, download this to your iPad so that way we can set it up and get you up and running, okay? Um, obviously then follow, the website works with the video, so follow along. But this is the reminders um, automation. So the yellow boxes are my um, notes to you telling you what to do, okay? So the top part is just explaining what this does. And also if you... Um, have more than one thing that you would like. So for this, we're setting this up to send you an email of your reminders list. If you want, you know, if you have multiple lists and want to set up more, um, you know, a grocery reminder or something, you can just duplicate this shortcut and set it up as many times as you want. Okay. So the only thing that you need to change down here is where it says list is. So if you have more than one list like I do, you can um, select your list here. So I'm just going to select Erica list. And that's the only thing you need to do. Now down here, it says tap to show more. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, when you tap to show more, so it says send combined text to recipients. So where it says recipients, you're going to tap that, all right? And that's where you're going to enter your email, all right? And, and then it says as open reminders. Now, where it says open reminders, if you want, you can change that. That's just the subject of the email, okay? You don't have to, you can leave it or you can... Um, change it. It's totally up to you. Okay. Now I'm going to actually uh, do something off screen here. So you now click the little down button and it says show compose sheet. Make sure that that is not on. And then it says from, and then your email should populate there. Um, if it isn't there for you, put in the email that, you know, your from email. So it'd be like to you and from you basically. Okay. And, um, that's all you need to do to get this thing to run. Um, <laughs> then when you're all done, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this again. Hang on. So that way we can there. Okay. I just didn't want to put my email. Everything I've done, anytime you see stuff from me on these videos, it's all, you know, fake calendar, fake lists, because, I don't know, I just, privacy and all that stuff. But anyway, so now when you have this all set up, right? So you have, your, you've chosen your list, and then you've got your email, you're going to want to click play. Do you see the little play button up here? Click play. This is so critical, you guys. Now, 
It says, allow share reminders to send five reminders in an email. Always allow. Always allow. Okay. So now you just want to go to your emails. And there it is. Okay, so it sent me, it says open reminders, and it shows what my list is. Okay, so now we know that that part is working. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back over to your shortcuts app. You're going to want to go to the sidebar. Okay, the sidebar looks like this. Shortcuts, gallery, automation. You're going to click on automation. Okay, now you're going to click this plus button. You see the plus button? All right, so you're going to select time of day. All right, so we're going to select time of day. Um, we are going to, I'm actually, you select whatever time of day you want. Um, I'm going to do this at, what time is it now? 9.12. I'm going to do 9.14. No, I better do 9.15. 9.15 a.m. That way we can watch it come through. Excuse me. Okay, so at 9.15 a.m. And then you can repeat it every day weekly or monthly. All right. And then do you want, uh, you need to run immediately. You do not want to select run after confirmation. You want to run immediately and you do not need to be notified when it was run. Okay. So that is setting up the frequency. Now you have to tell it, what do you want it to do at that time? All right. So we are going to select share reminders. That is the name of this. Um, automation. All right, so now we've done it at 9.15 every day. Share Reminders is going to get emailed to me, okay? Now, um, while we're waiting for that, let me just, hang on, are you, show you something else. Actually, no, we're going to do that. If you, where am I? There. So we just set up share reminders. Now let's just say you want to duplicate this and share grocery list. You would come over here and click select and then toggle share reminders and duplicate it. All right, so now we have share reminders, share reminders one, and we're gonna rename it. Up here you can rename. Nope, it, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Rename. So I'm going to say share grocery list. Share grocery. Done. Now I wanted to share my grocery list. So I'm going to select grocery list. Everything else is already, already set up, right? And that's all you need to do. And then you can go back to your automation. And well, actually, let's just test it. Boom. Did I do that? Yeah. Let's go to email. Yep, there it is. Except for I forgot to change the, um, I forgot to change the title of the email. So you'll want to change to, you know, grocery reminders or however you want. Okay. So all our reminders now are there. We have the grocery list <laughs> and then, oh, I need mini chocolate chips. Oh, that's right. Um, And then, oh, I shared it twice, didn't I? At 9.15 a.m., the email was sent to us. And there you go. So I hope that um, this helped. I hope you try this and use it and I hope you like it. And um, be sure to watch. Well, if you didn't watch the overview, watch the overview. And I'm going to show you now how to, um, the next video, share your calendar. Okay. And then I do have, I highly recommend everybody watch the tips and troubleshooting because that has some information for you guys as well. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.